What is going on, Iron Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and today I'm going to explain your metabolism while intermittent fasting. This has been a little bit of a hot topic for years, considering that a lot of people feel that intermittent fasting actually slows down your metabolism. So I'm gonna break down what's exactly happening with your metabolism when you do intermittent fasting. Stay tuned. Now, before we start, this video is sponsored by For Purpose energy drink and i want to go ahead and explain one thing a lot of you have asked me can i use energy drinks can i drink something that has energy or that can boost my energy now when you're fasting you provide an organic energy source to yourself so you really don't need any outside sources but a lot of people have asked me can i drink energy drinks well a scenario where you could take an outside source during the process of intermittent fasting be it you know some type of a juice or energy drink would be right after eating so if you eat during the middle of the day and you still got things to do a lot of times that part where you eat makes you very sluggish as i've explained in my videos in the past because your body has determined that you've already completed your task for the day which was finding food and eating food and since you did that you might feel extremely sluggish so in that case if you really need to use an outside source that's something that you can do however there's a lot of different energy drinks out there and it's best to try to be as healthy as possible if you want to go the energy drink right Route. This is a company that I discovered called Four Purpose Energy. It's a raspberry and pomegranate organic energy drink. And an added note is that they donate 10 cents per each can that they sell to build schools for children in developing worlds. So that shows that they have like a good mission behind them. They're trying to create an organic energy drink. So they're trying to go the health route as well. If you're going to pick something, try to pick the best thing. If you want to do energy drinks, if that's something that you want to implement into your arsenal, if you, if you you're somebody who likes that then try to pick the best things out there and for me i would rather go with something like this than like you know like a red bull or a monster or something and i've never drank it before so i was sent over this you know case and i'm going to go ahead and try this right now for you guys see how it tastes it has more it has more of a juice flavor than like a, a Red Bull or anything like that. It has like a, more of a juice. It has like, you can taste the juice in it. It's really, really, really tasty. Almost gives you a fruit, fruity flavor. Pretty good. Pretty good. The link is in the description down below. And if you put the promo code FLEDGE5, you will get 5% off their 24 pack case. So when you purchase this, it can help you save some money. Okay, let's talk about your metabolism and how it works through your body when you're doing the intermittent fasting protocol. You see, there's a lot of different things that are happening to your body when you're doing intermittent fasting. Contrary to popular belief, there's so many things that are elevating throughout your body that's actually raising your metabolic functions automatically. Your metabolism moves by so many different things. It's not simply because you're eating food. Raising that thermic effect of food by simply eating is one way that you can actually increase your metabolism, but there are other ways that you can do it as well. For example, being more anabolic, having more muscle on your body can raise your metabolism. Muscles constantly try to feed off of calories and that needs your metabolism to be running at a high level. Intermittent fasting actually increases your human growth hormone by almost about 1,300 to about 2,000 percent depending on your body type. If you're increasing your human growth hormone, this is basically in conjunction with the rise of your metabolism. Your metabolism actually can go up simply because an increase in your human growth hormone is being activated. Also, the lack of eating keeps your metabolism at a consistent clip. And human growth hormone is really important in promoting fat loss. It helps burn fat. When you fast, your insulin drops. And if your insulin is dropping, your body fat is more available. And if your human growth hormone is also rising, it also promotes burning of your body fat, which thus 
increases your metabolism or keeps your metabolism at a steady high clip. Bare minimum, it doesn't drop your metabolism or damage your metabolism, even though that's what you've been led to believe. If you don't eat, your metabolism just gets destroyed. That's not the case. And the human growth hormone increase is one of the tools within intermittent fasting that create that scenario for you to keep your metabolism at a good clip. Another thing is your norepinephrine. It actually also goes up. This is another hormonal element that's happening inside of your body that is creating the system for you to have a steady metabolism or a increased metabolism. That's the stress hormone. That's the fight or flight hormone that you receive that gives you that energy boost, that gives you that mental focus when you're doing intermittent fasting because you haven't eaten yet. This stress hormone was what was utilized in the past when you were searching for food and you needed to be at the top of your game even though you didn't have food. Because if you needed food to be at the top of your game to find food, then you would have died a long time ago because you can't find food if you need food to find food and this will run all through your bloodstream and it also impacts fat burning as well so you have three machines working you have three hormonal machines working you have the hgh increase the human growth hormone increase naturally simply through fasting which is promoting fat burning you have the insulin dropping which definitely promotes fat burning and then you have the norepinephrine going up which also facilitates fat burning as well you're not burning fat by simply having to eat and create that thermic effect you are burning fat by using the hormonal elements inside of your body to create those moments where you're burning body fat and as you're burning body fat and as you're working on your muscles and you're doing these things you are elevating or keeping your metabolism at a healthy level there has been research that shows that eating at a low caloric intake spread out throughout the day actually can damage your metabolism as opposed to when you just eat big meals and fast and create all those different hormonal things in your body that elevate your metabolism keep it steady just focusing on a severe caloric restriction can actually hurt you and not help you as i explained before when you eat consistently throughout the day all you do is raise your metabolism very high for the moment that you're eating but then it'll drop back down so you're constantly going up down up down up down but if you're at a severe caloric restriction it's not helping you because it's not going high enough because you're not eating that much now with intermittent fasting because all these hormonal things are happening you're already keeping it at a steady high level and then when you eat yes it's going to shoot up but it isn't going to come all the way down to a really really damaging number where now you need to consume less and less calories to try to lose more and more weight and you're stuck because your body thinks it's in a starvation mode the very sad thing is that your body doesn't think it's in a starvation mode when you're intermittent fasting your body actually feels that it's more in a starvation mode when you are actually consuming very very small calorie meals if you need to eat 1500 calories or 1700 calories or or 2000 calories if you can eat it in one meal it's much more satisfying for your body and for your metabolism to have that come all come in at once than to have just little small 300 400 calorie 500 calorie meals because you're trying to spread them out and make six meals throughout the day that worries your body that actually gives your body a lot of worry which is why people who do caloric restriction diet focus only where it's extremely restricted tend to gain all of their weight back or hit a massive wall because the metabolism is fighting back intermittent fasting gives your metabolism much more tools to work with because of all of these different hormonal things going up it has so much more power and so many different elements working together to give it the ability to stay steady and relaxed so no please don't listen to anyone who is telling you that your metabolism metabolism will be destroyed by not eating that is very 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 old school thinking and we have moved on from that already and i hope you have moved on from it as well it does not slow down your metabolism i will have studies in the description down below that you can take a look at that can hopefully give you more comfort when it comes to understanding what happens 
with your metabolism when you do intermittent fasting. One thing I can tell you for sure is that it definitely does not damage or decrease your metabolism when you do intermittent fasting. And I wanna thank my patrons for my Patreon and I'm gonna put their names right up here.